I'm Garrison and welcome back to the channel and today I'll be checking out NCT Dream's newest song here called Beatbox MV for all now I'm sure a good amount of y'all who've been keeping up with the channel may be wondering where are my NCT Dream uh, videos reactions or NCT stuff uh, in general and what else can I say? It's hard to get uh, the, the content uh, out. Sometimes I, I happen to miss it. Sometimes YouTube doesn't even allow me to put things up or more so, you know, who. Uh, and it was ever since uh, Super M's uh, 1 not being able to make it publicly available on the channel here and uh, such. But with that being said, uh, I'm still trying to get into nct uh dream and the fact that i saw one of uh those instagram reels or whatever they call it and i, I think it was the enjoy couple instagram page and i i heard beatbox just for a bit and i'm sure a, a bit of a ch the challenge came out already or something and it, it spoiled me a bit and i was like what is this song and i was like could this be nct dream and next thing you know nct dream uh beatbox so i i figured out um thankfully um and hopefully this uh reaction and review ends up coming out uh for y'all let me know if you guys are willing to you know do a listen along and just have the audio portion uh, muted if i can't get these videos out with the audio on the music video and such but aside from that let's just get into this music video now all right so i brought it up beatbox by nct dream i got the english captions on and all and please be mindful i am still matching faces with names so please correct me if i happen to call out a member's name uh wrongly in the most polite uh manner but let's just get into it Oh, Mark with a boom box here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. All right. Boom, chicka, boom. Hey, let's go. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, chicka, boom. <laughs> okay, bit of a intro here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let me turn this up. <laughs> okay, this has to be Gino. Jisung? Yeah, I know my man's Jisung. Ooh. So, essentially, they are coming through with a hip-hop, like, dance track with a good amount of pop. Ooh. Beatbox! Hey! Verse 2 with Mark. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. G Sung and Chenla. Man. I just love like the 90s groove in the song. Okay. Bring the beatbox. 
box. Oh. Okay, this must be the bridge. Very dreamlike with it here. love how also the song is so bright sounding yet there's this like positive vibe to it this very positive yet you know infectious vibe that just got you grooving along and jabbing along Now that's cool, uh, song structure wise. Okay, the classic outro, SM Entertainment outro that I still don't mess with still to this day, but beatbox, wow. Uh, okay, so going back and talking about arrangement wise, what I love about this song arrangement wise and overall composition is first of all, just how it, it flows and goes from the this 80s groove or no, I should say 90s groove. Um, and the 90s groove more so like this hip hop 90s groove uh, where uh, if you get in case you guys didn't know, like mid to late 90s was like known as like the golden age era of uh, hip hop, if I recall correctly. But I just love how there's like this 90s uh, groove to it and also how <laughs> infectiously positive and bright sounding this song is like i mentioned earlier now near the end there where we got hit with that beautiful dream like sounding uh bridge it, w it just like really took me off guard and got me even more drawn in into the song which i dig how the bridge was able to do that with all the members and such and then they hit us with like an interlude i believe then they bring back the chorus like they the with the interlude is like boom chicka boom chicka boom 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 and then as it continues it continues we they bring back the chorus you know sort of bringing back the crowd together and like just jamming out and then uh they hit us like I don't know, it was like a sort of a mixture of like a chorus, refrain, and then like just ended it off with that super catchy uh, post-chorus uh, in the song. I mean, all in all, <laughs> the entirety of the song is catchy, like the, the, the chorus and especially the post-chorus in this song. But in terms of the verses, I really mess with the verses. We got a little bit of a, a cinematic... Uh, intro there how mark just got everyone popping up left right and uh center to see them you know uh just jam out and perform and all sort of like a busking session almost or like you know hip-hop bringing in the crowd session everyone's doing this and stuff like that and then the song kicks off with that uh verse one which was quite lengthy with uh it admittedly but i think it really sticks with that verse one it it really sets the tone to the song per se and then that, don't even get me started with verse two i really really dig verse two what was it um mark um, and I believe Jamin, you can correct me if I'm, uh, uh, wrong. And then, uh, I really liked Heichan in this. I think Heichan was in verse two as well. Uh, Heichan, uh, I think he was, uh, with, uh, what is it? With Jisung or was it, uh, Chenla? 
uh, near the the end of it, and then they brought it all together, and then they they moved on after that that verse two that was uh, great, uh, and uh, yeah, what I got to say right away, this is has to be one of my top favorites by NCT uh, Dream, and knowing that this is for their repackage, it just it just feels very fitting, you know, after uh, the release of Glitch Mode, and. Yeah, from the 90s uh, groove that makes th that has this like rhythmic feel to it. There's a, a pretty much a set rhythm uh, to it that got you feeling like this 90s uh, groove. And I think what helps even more is the melodies in this song. The melodies are very retro based, influenced. And uh, it's great to hear that as well. We get the sort of the best of both worlds where a lot of us, I know a good amount of us, really love the retro trend that's going on in um, the K-pop scene. I know some of us love the rock influences that we've been getting quite a bit. But I love how we get like that, that retro influence, yet we get that hip-hop influence on this hip-hop dance slash pop uh, track, the combination of the the three into all in uh one here but let's just get into the second listen of uh this and then i'm gonna break down some parts um hopefully um the second watch will help me you know match uh faces with names uh even more but uh bring it back here at the start here where mark uh, <laughs> brings out a classic boom a box man i remember when i was uh, uh young uh, uh when i was really young and going on the bus with my uh, grandparents every so often on the public uh, on the public transit i'd see one dude with like a boom box or something and it was like when i was really really young i can still remember those days but uh yeah let's just get back into it okay. boom. Really drawn in the crowd. Alright. Flip of the coin, scene transition. Drum, drum, drum. <laughs> it's got pop on that lace bag. Yeah, Gino, right? I know G Sung. Like, I know G Sung and Mark, hands down. Like, I know them the most. And I do know Hey Chan. But. <laughs> oh, that wink. Yeah, so pretty much, you know, they got these like very classic elements and instruments done um, in this kind of style of sort of uh, uh, hip hop with a boom bap and all that stuff. But what I really dig is the, I believe, the horns. Mm, just a bit but mostly the bass is utilized in this the snares the kicks right here the beatbox and I just love how in this song there's, there's just like this sing-alongable factor to it very infectious in that kind of way <laughs> this is kind of not gonna lie this verse too as much as i loved it i loved it also because of how sweet uh, uh sounding it was and adorable it was one bite and you're hooked yum 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 <laughs> jamin like with hey oh with hey chan maybe right and then 
Chenla, <laughs> NG Sang. Man, their smiles though. Like, <laughs> just seeing themselves, just simply enjoying themselves throughout this is everything. And it really goes to show you, you don't need like something intricate to have a good song, like overall song structure and composition wise and all and even production wise like just simply you know having fun with it and um you know having an overall song like being produced that just simply sets up the members of any respective group uh it can take the, take it the extra mile uh totally you know uh and really compliments and showcases like each member's uh, moments in the song, right? And uh, I feel like be Beatbox really does that, to be honest. And then this bridge. Wow, I really just love the um, some some of the claps there going on, but also these very mystical like uh, strings being played during this bridge as well, or some kind of synthesize string synthesizers. Oh, they got a bit of a rhythm guitar going as well. Yeah. Of course, the turn discs. <laughs> yeah. The ad libs work too. Man, I feel like the timing of the song is so perfect as we approach June and then the season of summer, of course. Yeah, I think this is just so cool how they go from this moment here. Where was it again? Okay. Yeah. Pretty much a full on interlude going on with the turn this. And then they, you know, they bring it back. My favorite, one of my favorite scenes, but uh, yeah, this song is that good to the point where I even want to sort of do like the whole the TikTok uh, uh thing with that the hands and stuff like <laughs> like uh uh that it goes to show you you know uh, when you got songs that could really do that kind of stuff and introduce like new challenges. Uh, it just adds more to the very memorable factor uh, to it. it was because I feel like, you know, months later on or years later on, you think about, wow, that was a great era of NCT Dream, you know, beatbox when they did their whole repackage and all. But uh, yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully this ends up on the, the channel available for y'all and uh, doesn't get taken down by any. Uh, means and uh, hopefully you got most importantly something 
uh, out of this but to wrap it up yeah i love this uh a lot um just a simply 10 out of 10 uh, uh nothing much else to uh say but my favorite parts being definitely um uh, verse two uh in this song the bridge but just how infectiously addictive this song is at the end of the day with the chorus and the post chorus just what the turn is this like nine mid 90s kind of groove hip hop groove to it yet having those retro influences within the melodies of this uh song and uh scenes being shown in uh this that just like you know make you smile and all i think the music video worked so well it paired well uh, and matched uh, the overall soundscape of beatbox but as always guys be sure to like share maybe subscribe as it helps out the channel so so much it just warns mark connecting with y'all about nct dream and their new song beatbox or even about k-pop in general as always have a great day have a good night have a good afternoon wherever you are. This has been Garrison as always though, and peace.